our youth to those positive resources and get them in an environment which will motivate them and help them to stay focused on the rehabilitation and the redirection of their lives. So uh, I want to give Issa the opportunity to speak a little bit because so often we have these gatherings, we, we put these initiatives and these efforts together and we don't hear the voice of our youth. And um, this, naively we do this because we reckon that we as elders, we know which direction to point them in and thereby we have the best words to share with the community. That's not always the case. So I'm going to give Issa the opportunity to say a couple of words and uh, just talk about uh, you said if you could, uh, some of the work you've been trying to do in terms of influencing your peers to take positive directions in their lives, turn their lives around, and he's been very effective at, at it, so uh, if you could please, uh, Issa, here you go. Um, first thing I want to say is our praise be to the Most High. Give our praises to the Most High. Most High God, Most High your Lord. That's where all the influence comes from, that's where all the power comes from, that's where everything all the effort, all the effort that you see being made in the spot studios, that's where all that power comes from. All y'all are aware of that. Another thing I want to say is um, I don't really want to give myself any praise. I don't want to give myself any attention. I want to say what the most high is done for this youth, for the youth in this particular facility. It's just, like my father said, we try to rehabilitate them. One of their biggest difficulties is with that energy. They be so angry. They be so caught up in their emotions and their feelings. They see the way the world works. They see how they get shot dead by the police and then they see how they get shot dead by their brothers. So they see the situation and they say, well, where do I fit in this? And so the most I throughout Aspire Studios in one aspect is giving them a way to release that energy. Get some of that energy off their heart. When you walking around with burdens and you and you covered in your burdens and you set, you, you buried in your burdens, how are you ever going to progress? How are you ever going to get farther? So what we try to do here is we try to relieve them of some of those burdens and give them a way to speak. Uh, also, what I would like to say is Aspire Studios has put a genuine amount of effort and a genuine amount of, genuine amount of currency and resources into making sure that through this effort and through this progress and through this process that the youth in this community will definitely be changed for the better. It's a fact. There's no way you can change that. The most high, you know, the most high he's with us gonna be with us and that's why I stand behind and the last thing I would like I would like to say is I praise be to the most I love everybody in the room I appreciate y'all for being here I mean that it's on my heart okay and I need to invite all of the children all the children that may or may not be watching this everybody I need y'all to come to the street summit April 11th, April 11th, I need y'all at April 11th Street Summit. Come uh, bring your families, bring whoever you want to bring with you. Like I said, the spirit of the most high going to be there. I'm going to be there. My family going to be there. My father's going to be there. God bless y'all. Right, man. Whoever wants to speak. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. It's good for here for my young people. In closing at this press conference, we want everyone that can hear us know that somebody out there cares. Uh, we're going to leave you with a telephone number, area code 502 715 uh, If you need more information about this street summit, please call that number. We'll be uh, more and able to give you more information about it. We'll close it out with uh, Mr. Jeremiah Rome uh, closing out about our street summit. Yeah, so I'm Jeremiah Rome, author and former steering committee member of Man Up. And uh, I too, I come here and record. This is home for me right now, Aspire Studios. Uh, they're good people. Uh, I'm getting some good music out of here right now. That's why I'm working on my, on my project. And uh, we just want to encourage people to come out to the Street Summit too this weekend. We care about our community. We love the people. This is not a gimmick. You know, we just want to we want to stress that there's, there's nothing fake about me. So I'm not I'm not going to be a part of an organization that's uh, not real. You know, Man Up is a real organization. I'm a real individual. I care about the people. I will be there as an author, performer, uh, using my talents and my skills uh, to to help lead our people in the right direction. Uh, we're trying to lead people to jobs. Uh, if you need to talk to the child support people, uh, they helped me last time. Um, they'll be there. Um, I'll be, again, uh, continuing, continuing uh, my online curriculum, sign-up sheet. Uh, so uh, just come out. Man. We, we want people to come out. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's not going to be any media there. 
Uh, we, we're not doing this for, for no variety. We're doing this because we care about the community. You know, so come out this weekend, April the 11th, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Louisville Art League. All right, thank you. Very good. That was the press conference. Oh,